We got the Oracle expansion, so let's check that out. Got the back of the box. Got the divining dish with the different things you drop in for the kind of roll and write aspect of this character, her miniature, and the goods table and some of the goods. All right, let's get this open. Let it pull that plastic off. And we'll try and get into this box. It's always hard one-handed into the box. There we go. All right, so we have her rules sheets, just like in the base game, just a couple pages, kind of, for that character. Just like we have the punch board assembly guide for her cardboard pieces, the, the divining dish and her table to put her goods on. Have a punch board with the pieces of her table and all of that punches out real easy. That one just fell right out. Same thickness as the rest of the stuff. We have the board. It's kind of a more glossy, shiny because you draw on it with a marker. And then we have her action board thing for the townsfolk cards to go under. And her character selection card. And then a marker with an eraser on it. And there is a token here. I don't know if that fell out or not. There's not a spot where it would have been in there that I've seen. Extra token. <laughs> a bag with a bubble wrapped miniature. Looks like 2D4 dice. A bag of plastic standees and a bone and a meeple that's screen printed. I think that's the, the voodoo meeple. And that's everything that's in the Oracle expansion. Let's set this to the side here and I will grab the next expansion that I have sitting over here which is the Dragon Rancher. So, hop into it. So have the Dragon Rancher expansion. This was a extra they added at the end of the Kickstarter that you could buy and add on. And of course, I got all the add-ons. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the innkeeper. Decided to get the Dragon Rancher. It's got the goods, in this case, they're dragons. I believe these are the dragon poop tokens because you have to clean up your dragon's poop. And this comes with a bag with the food tokens and the board. So let's get this one open. All right. I am ready to play this game. I'm gonna try to actually play it on the day that I'm unboxing this. Even if I have to do a solo play. This box feels thicker than that box. It's harder to open. Well. Let me set this down and open it real quick. All right, the linen finish on the box makes it a little harder to open, I think, but we got it opened. And we have the, the same as in the Oracle, the assembly guide for the punch board. In this case, it's just the pin to the side that you put your dragons in. We have the Dragon Rancher rule book. The layout and all that, just like the others, just a couple pages. I like it. I thought they were going to be longer, but I'm happy with what they are. We have the punch board with the, the pin and the fence and the poop tokens and the goods and all of that. And the Dragon Rancher's board and all the, I believe all the boards in the add-ons are all single-layered, no dual-layer boards. So this isn't, and the Oracle was not either. 
We have that. Oh, I didn't even notice they have a symbol on the back of them, which doesn't make a, a lot of difference. And we have the miniature for the Dragon Rancher. And I just realized I never opened the miniature for the Oracle, so I'll grab that as soon as I'm through here. And there's the standees for this. And the screen printed wooden food tokens. Gotta feed your dragons. And then we have the Dragon Rancher character selection card. As well as the purple bag for the Dragon Rancher. I believe it's to draw the food out of. And it's action token townsfolk board card thing. Tableau, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the I believe these are the extra large dragon goods, which are the fully groomed dragons. And there's a dragon that got punched out, I guess. Alright, I'll open. I will wait until the end and I will open all the miniatures and show them off afterwards. It'll be easier that way since they're wrapped in bubble wrap. Alright, set this to the side and we'll get the last of the add on expansions the innkeeper. This is the one I was most looking forward to. I like the idea of playing as the innkeeper. It's a, a lot different than most of the other characters. But we've got the innkeeper's board and a table for his goods. There's a, a better view of the table and the miniature and the 3D beds. Alright. Get this plastic off. Seems the more I unbox, the harder it gets to unwrap. Alright. Sorry about that, the camera cut off. But let's get back to the unboxing of the innkeeper. First off, we have his uh, rule sheet. It's the same as the others, just a couple pages. Easy, simple. And I believe his name is Mr. Nasty, which is also kind of neat. <laughs> We got the shelf assembly and the bed assembly for his 3D elements. We also have the punch board with the shelf and the beds and his goods. Along with his board with the spaces for the different colored workers and his worker placement spaces and the spaces for the beds back there. And then his miniature wrapped in bubble wrap like the others. Along with his townsfolk uh, board. You put the townsfolk cards, his character selection card, just like the rest of them. Have one of each, except for the gray meeple, I believe, of extra meeples. And then some standees for his goods as well. Alright, so we'll set this aside. All right, I just thought I'd show off the the uh, miniatures real quick. We have the Oracle. And we have the Dragon Rancher. And lastly, we have the Innkeeper. Looks like he's working hard. All right, let's set those off to the side here. Move there trash out of the way. And we have this backer built rogue pack left to unbox and the secret stash. Um, let's just hop in the secret stash. So this was all the extras that were added throughout the Kickstarter campaign. It's got a guy crawling out of a chest. He must not want anyone to take his secret stash. And it has all kinds of extras in it. Another island, more rogue cards, uh, mini expansions, new boats, that kind of stuff. So let's get it open. The lid open. Let's take it off and see what's inside. So we have a components list. With all the components that come in the secret stash expansion. And the townsfolk cards. The gray goods that are added, the new boats, 
the new Halls of Plenty mini expansion, and the Dragon Island Festival, and different cards and everything, final scoring, and a little note, I guess, on the back. And then we have the solo scenario book. I guess tells about the solo play. I think this has way more pages than the regular rule book. Yeah. The different scenarios in it, it looks like here in the back. 36 pages. You got a assembly sheet guide for the 3D boats that come in this. Speaking of the boats, here's one of the boats and some of the expansion pieces. We have the other two boats. There's These are five-seater boats, and that's a smaller one is a two-seater. Have a few more pieces here. Have some more uh, meeples. These are white with all different picture uh, printed on them. We have a couple deals of cards, the uh, gray good tokens, and oh, these are the uh, boat uh, selection cards of where to place out the boats, I believe. And there's some more rogue cards in here. Uh, let me set down the camera. All right, I'm back. I went ahead and pulled the plastic off all the cards. We could check out some of those. Have some of the rogue cards here that are in the secret stash expansion. S several of those, different ones. Um, there is. Try to set all these out of the way. Let's see what these other cards are. Have some. Yeah, I believe these are the boat setup cards that show you where to place the boats. And yeah, we have some other cards here. I guess I should have left the rule book where I could get to it to see which cards were which. But have some new corruption cards, it looks like. Don't know what this new type of card is. And then more townsfolk, got a cyclops guy, it's like a, a goblin lady, a whole bunch of new townsfolk cards, bring another one of those up to the camera here, and I guess all that's left to open is this the Backer Built Rogue Pack. And I do not believe this is going to be a one hand friendly, so I'll be right back. All right, I went and grabbed some scissors and opened this up real quick. We have the Backer Rogues that were voted on and stuff in the campaign. Several different ones here. I believe these are Kickstarter exclusive, if I'm remembering correctly. You have several different ones, and then you have several blank ones where you can make your own. Well, I guess that concludes the unboxing of Merchants Cove, the Kickstarter pledge with all the add-ons and the secret stash and the backer rogues. I'm going to box all of this back up. And if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, leave a comment, and have a nice day.